Hey, it's the balloonist, Marco. I've been so you've been busy. Let's go to Peacekeeper. I uh, so no Marco isn't. Did you just jump on his head? Yeah, he doesn't care. I mean, he's not good enough to have a voice actor, apparently. Clearly. Unless he just speaks telepathically through your mind. Like, he just puts text in your head. Jesus, dude. He's like <laughs> he's like death from Discworld. <laughs> he just talks right into your mind. That's horrifying. Yeah, well, so is death. But, that, uh... That's true. Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. This guy's pretty cool looking. Turned against us. Stone, looks like a cheetah. We cover our treasure spiral. This is like dangerously furry. <laughs> That's my new Sonic OC. Like, like That's my gem sona. Like, did you ever see that that uh, infograph? What? Well, like for it's like the four levels of furry. Oh no, I haven't heard of this. Please do oh, explain. Well, I mean, it's better with a visual aid. I'll uh, try to send it to you when I get the chance. Because uh, first, it's you know. It's like not really furry, it's just a picture of regular girl. Yeah. Then uh you get Fucking kind muscle. of furry. Yeah. It's just the girl with like uh, cat with cat ears. Maybe the cat tail. No, it was it's just it's just a headshot. Oh. Then you get dangerously furry and that's when they get you know, like all the whole like full like cheetah prints. Yeah. And then there's dangerously cheesy. And it's just <laughs> your cheetah. <laughs> oh man, I'm blasting these asses. No. It's weird that these cannonballs are homing. I know. Well, that one wasn't. Where is he? Where are you? There you I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> this game is weird. Why do you have such a huge butthole? I, what, did this guy just invent Goatsy? <laughs> no wonder he had such a huge asshole. He was just waiting for me to fuck him up. Uh, Get it? Uh, I think that... So you gotta pass this along to Spurly. Huh? Uh, when you play your little Dungeons and Drags. Yeah. You gotta tell him that at one point in the uh, campaign, when a campaign goes really, really badly and someone just really fucks up, uh -huh. you have to roll for uh, asshole diameter. Actually, we, uh, we all decided we'd find out our dick sizes for our characters. So Spurly told us to roll a d6 and add our charisma modifier to it. Oh, wow. So all four of us did it. It was me. So first off, there's uh, Henry's character, yeah. who's a farm boy soldier, who's like trying to hit on all these girls but has like a really low charisma score, yeah. so he always messes up. He has the smallest dick out of all of us. His dick, I think, is like two inches long, one inches wide. Oh my god, that's fantastic. Um... Then uh, there's Joe. Uh, his character lives in the wood. Lived in the woods. Yeah. Um, I think his was like. A... Oh wait, no. There's Drew's character, who I'm not sure. Exactly. Well, well, what happened to Joe? I'm trying to. I don't. I the one I was thinking of was Drew's. So. Oh. Drew's character was a uh, six inches long, one inch wide. So he's known as the pencil dick. I mean, alright. I believe Joe was also like one of the two inch long, one inch wide thing. He also had a small pee pee. Aww. And then there's my character. <laughs> my character has a 10 inch long dick that's 6 inches wide. Because <laughs> I rolled perfect sixes each time. So it's <laughs> <laughs> like fucking. Uh... So I was like, yeah, my fucking character has his dick wrapped around his waist like he's a Saiyan. <laughs> And, like, our little, like, group is, like, they deemed us Team Sausage Fest. So you said now our flat, like, our team logo is just my dick on a flag. Uh, uh, and the and, like, flag Drew, is hung from your dick. And Drew said, like, it's like a, it's like a normal-sized flag, and then we just taped another part of a flag onto it to compensate for the size. Like, the dick has to be spread between two separate flags. <laughs> yeah. So then, like, there's one point where, like, joking around, I, like, my character turns around, and I have, like, my arm in front of my, like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Something causing a ruckus? Uh. Like, do you hear that? Yeah, it's the sound of my dick hitting the floor. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Oh, shit, it's Magnus. Oh, God. Get, get Frog and Chrono. <laughs> He's trying to summon Lavos. It's Magnus. Where's da -da 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 the sword? Oh, I want to play Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is real good. It has the same, it has similar gameplay to the, uh, whatchamacallit, Secret of Mana, right? Like, the battle system? Sort of. 
Isn't it like uh, if you fight like on the overworld and stuff, or? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like the same thing, kind and of. Like, like attacks you can do are based on uh, enemies' locations. Yeah, that's People like move a. Around. Kind of like uh, uh, the Legacy of Goku games, right? No. No really? Legacy. Of, what? No Legacy of Goku wasn't a turn-based RPG. Was Chrono Trigger turn-based? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. I thought it was a. Uh... No. No. Was... Oh, okay, so secret. It's, so Legacy of Goku's like Secret of Mana in that case. Yeah. Okay. I should pick it up on my PS3 at some point. Like, like you're talking about Legacy of Goku still. Legacy of Goku's a good game though. The second one was. The first game was terrible. I like the third one. Third one was also really good. The, well, I mean, in the second one, you can play as Hercule. Yeah, dude. He was awesome. And I, I fucking worked to get Hercule up to level 40 so I could open his door. Damn, did you really? Yeah, dude. What find it again? Uh, well, like. You no, know, everyone's level 40 door, they get a, if you open their level 40 door. They get a statue? Yeah, you get a statue yeah. just uh, for bragging rights. Hercules, you get his. You go into a, like, a TV radio station or, like, a TV station in uh, one of the cities. Uh-huh. And just, it's Hercules' interview about how he beats Cell. Oh, really? Yeah. And That's he, rad. Yeah, just Hercules just, like, chilling out and talking about how great he is and he's throwing a couple punches and kicks with <laughs> the camera it's awesome i do love that like when you play as all the different characters in that game they all have different things to say to you yeah when you're a hercule no one wants anything to do with you wait really yeah oh you mean like the z fighters like the z fighters are all just like like, like what are you you're doing de here? you're despicable <laughs> like you should leave now if you know what's good for you <laughs> And then there's now where in Dragon Ball Super he gives Goku fucking like 10 million zenny. No, dude, it was 100 million. Oh, it was 100 million? Aw, oh, damn, I think I must have re read a different sub then. Dude, no, you gave him like. A oh, I'm thinking of Jocko, never mind. You gave him a fucking billion dollars. <laughs> 100 million is a billion. <laughs> Chi Chi is a billionaire now. Jesus Christ. No more. They don't have to live off of tournament money anymore. <laughs> Oh, so I guess they finally had to decide. So, uh, how, like, how do p these people support themselves? They live alone in the woods. Well, uh, they've always they've always said that they lived off of uh, a combination of Goku's tournament money and Ox King's wealth. Still, but like, I but then it was running out. So, well, yeah, because his fucking castle exploded and he <laughs> had no followers and he didn't do anything. Nah, he just he's... Ox King's whole thing was that he terrorized the village because he, he built his. A castle on a fucking inferno. He built it right on over the ass crack of hell. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my! Is that Pikachu? Hey, Spyro. I was born to glide. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, you piece of shit. You were born to be my amusement. <laughs> you were born to be my punching bag. Now give me a beer. Kill these birds. These birds are dead. Oh. <laughs> what did that board ever do to you? Oh, so many things. But uh, in, I remember in Legacy of Goku 2, going back to that, uh, I did get far enough to do the cooler secret boss fight. Oh, yeah. But I never got 100% in that game. I got 100% because I'm amazing. Each of those games, I think Boost Fury was the only one that didn't have a secret boss fight. Well, was the secret boss fight in the first one then? Oh yeah, there wasn't one in the first one. Wait, no, there was a hidden one somewhere in that game. I don't remember what though. But I know even in the the turn-based RPG, they had a uh, secret boss in it. Didn't they have a turn-based RPG? Uh, it was on the DS. It's actually pretty. It's actually pretty cool. It's called Attack of the Saiyans. Uh, it's it came out around the same time as Kai started up, and uh, it just retells the Saiyan saga, and. Uh, Everyone's favorite arc. Um, and then the secret boss at the end is Broly. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, so I guess he got upgraded from just a regular boss in uh, Legacy of Goku 3. Was he in Legacy of Goku Yeah, he was uh, Boo's Fury. Like, you're collecting the Dragon Ball. Right, says, yeah. Protecting her trunks. And like, hey, here's just Guy Frozen in Ice. Kakarot. 
What? What are you talking about, Vic Mignogna? <laughs> I'm gonna. You're fucking stupid, pal. Your vocal cords are gone. You're fucking stupid, pal. <laughs> Where's your mother? And yeah, uh, <laughs> and yeah, then. Uh, and then that third Broly movie happens. Then he kills him, and he, like a child kills him, and then it, it's nothing. That movie was sick, though. Broly Second Coming. Have you I, seen that one? No, I refuse to watch anything with Broly because he's fucking stupid. The second one was the only good one. The first one was too long, and the third one is just like the worst one ever. Oh yeah, he's fucking made out of bio slime. It's not even. It's made out of vagina slime. Like he's just like Broly's the Toxic Avenger. <laughs> he unlocked his vagina potential. Uh, and I just fucking like just. Bio Broly is the worst Dragon Ball Z movie. Oh, it even he... beats out Lord Slug. Really, don't think Metacooler is Revenge or... What, Revenge of Me Wait, Metacooler? Yeah. That one wasn't that bad. Yeah, but nothing makes any fucking sense. Well, yeah, but at least it's not a bad movie. Well, it is if the fucking story is shit. Like, for... Now, first, Goku and Vegeta together couldn't beat a single... Could barely beat a single Metacooler. And then together... No, after they get their asses kicked, they can overload the whole big Getty star. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. They can overload a big Getty star. The big Getty star is a, the fucking size of a planet. They couldn't be one of the fucking many offspring of it. Well, yeah. Now, how did Vegeta get there? Vegeta, the Vegeta, Vegeta didn't go to the planet with him. Oh, it's, it's not the best movie. But it's better than Lord Slug, that's for sure. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. Was we was Doctor Wheelo a good movie? World oh, the World Strongest. That one was pretty good. I like that. Uh, I'm just it was to, one of the few I had on DVD. I'm just trying to remember. I got it for Christmas from my mom. Like, I always remember thinking like, wait, so this guy took, put his brain in a robot? Yeah. How fucking big was this guy that his brain was like 20 feet in diameter? Yeah, that was a little weird. He must have been like, he must have been that. Uh, like, was he a goddamn giant? Is he brainiac or something? Like, here's the thing, like, if you're looking for a strong body. You were fucking enormous. <laughs> I bet you were already pretty strong, buddy. Like, relax, bro. Chill. Let's see. Because I saw pretty much all the movies. I think there's one I missed. I don't remember which one, though. No, wait. I saw all of them. The best one is either Fusion... I think the best one's Fusion Reborn. Because, mm -hmm. that. Cause, I mean, they fucking fight Hitler in that one. You saw that yes, one, Yes, right? yes, yes. And yeah. H Hitler walks the earth. Yeah. I, I do like Fusion Reborn. It's just a good version of the Super 7 scene arc in uh, oh. GT. Yeah. That had so much potential. Well, cause like, like, exactly. Those arcs should just be, like, really having fun. Yeah. Just digging, like, they get so much opportunity to have fun. Like, bring out random characters. Like, you know, do shit with the Ginyu Force again. Like, oh, the, but the part with N Nappa, though, was hilarious. Well, I like, love that part. Like, it was 30 seconds long. I expected that to be something longer, just... And then, uh, 18 morning over Curlin's death was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> I love Curlin. Oh, by the way, you see, the secret boss in Legacy of Goku was Princess Snake. Yes. But it wasn't even a secret, it was just an optional, because you could fight her or you could just walk away. Oh, okay. Well, so then, what was the secret in 3? Was it Broly? No, uh, Broly no. was part of the main story. Yeah, I don't think there was one. Uh, oh, look. Check for me. Oh, uh, there was a GT Legacy of Goku game? Yeah, and it was fucking stupid because it was a side-scroller. Then it's... It looked bad. Then it's not even... Even back then, I was like, this game looks bad. I knew better as a kid. It's not really Legacy of Goku, then. It's not. Apparently those Game Boy Advance fighting games were really good. Oh, the Super Sonic Warriors? Yeah. And there's also like one called like Tenketsu or whatever that was really fun. I remember I watched Spurly play one of them, and it looked sick. Mm. Oh, yeah, none in... Three. Oh. Though apparently fucking... You can fight a Pharaoh. What? Yeah, a Pharaoh Totenhota. <laughs> Totenhota. And, no, obviously just because he fought him later in the game, he has higher stats than Deborah. Of course. So, think about that, you know, like, 
goddamn Demon King stronger than Cell. No, this mummy like bandages the mummy is stronger than <laughs> Cell. <laughs> Fucking bandages the mummy. Oh man, there was a Dragon Ball uh, Game Boy Advance game. That was a lot like, oh, like a Revenge of Piccolo. Or? No, that was for the Wii. That was like a 3D beat 'em up. There was a uh, Game Boy Advance side-scrolling game, and there were two. Uh, There's two 3D beat 'em ups for the DS. That was pretty sick. So we're playing Spyro. Hey. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to remember how. I, okay, I see where I have to go now. Yeah. Oh this, yeah. This part threw me off a lot. I've just so. kind of been zoning out since you've just been doing laughs around dusty dunes. Oh. Also, shouldn't that be? Shouldn't that fairy be zapping your ass or something? Uh, not in this version. That's stupid. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. Dude, my sexual awakening occurred the very first time in Spyro 2 <laughs> when I ran by that fairy and she zapped my ass with a lightning bolt. It was love at first zap. Dude, it was my spring awakening. <laughs> you unlocked your potential. There you go, this level should be done now. Or not, I guess not. Maximus! Incredible. Holy oh, shit. Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. It's, like yeah, it's, it's weird hearing Tom Clancy try to be the bro, the dude bro. Yeah. Hey, man, how's it going? Like, hey, Spyro things. What's some gum? Where are my fucking Krabby Patties? <laughs> You gonna sneeze, Spyro? You want a big sandwich? Oh. <laughs> you're, you're mixing up that video in all kinds of ways. I am, and I love it. Alright, so I have to go get to that uh, treasure chest that I saw back there. And then after that, the level's finished. That's what you said the last time. No, I didn't. You said, uh, and with this, the level should be done. Oh, right, yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah I'm a pathological liar. It's true. I'm at the beginning of the level, aren't I? Uh, fucking Jesus. Okay. I know where to go now. I know for a fact. What? No, no, I don't. I clicked on bandages the money. Mummy. You sent me to a Pharaoh Toten Hotep. No! It's not what I wanted. They're the same thing, Ben. Are they? I don't know. <laughs> they might be, who knows. I know next time on the Dragon Ball Z. Da 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 Gregory da, is canon. Da 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 I mean... Gregory's canon in well, real yeah, life. He was in the anime. The, he wasn't canon in the anime. Now he is. What do you mean he wasn't canon in the anime? He wasn't part of the filo, filler arcs. Yeah, he was. And then, like, he only like, appeared... When they, when they were training, that's not filler. That's... He yeah, only... This... He, wait, what do you mean? Uh, you meet Gregory when he goes to King Kai's planet... And, that, like, catching Gregory's part of the training. That never happened in the manga. Yeah, that doesn't mean it's not canon when it's, like, uh, not, not canon shit is, like, Goku and Piccolo driving cars. He never, he never showed up in the manga literally at all until recently. So? So that means he's, now he's officially canon. No, well, he was, he was in the show. Yeah, that's not canon part, you, though. You're, you're going to tell me that the anime isn't canon? Parts of the anime aren't canon. You can't just pick and choose what is and what yes, is not Yes, you can, canon. from the original source material. No, the original source material overrides it. Yes. But that doesn't completely negate everything. Yes, it does. You're a fucking idiot. You're fucking stupid. Says the guy who doesn't understand the difference between, like, contradicting and supplementing. But he was never canon to begin with. Says who? Says Toriyama no, until recently. Says you, apparently. No, because what happened was, like, in like in Battle of Gods, he was there. So and there then, you go. But then, wanted him but in. then in the manga version of it, he wasn't there. Well, yeah, because he doesn't waste his time with fucking manga. <laughs> you kidding me? Gregory's important. <laughs> he doesn't want to get attention from a bunch of fucking nerdlingers. Oh, these fucking nerdlings. Dude, only fucking nerds read manga. 